good day to all today we are going to see about a problem that is a bar is subjected to a temperature change okay so the temperature initially at 30 degree and it is raised to 60 degree we have to calculate the following that is k matrix and f matrix nodal displacements stresses in each material and reaction forces at the supports the first step is we have to convert this problem into fe representation so let me take it as a bar element so this is node 1 2 and 3 after this theory we will solve this problem in ansys node element 1 and element 2 have been splitted so le1 is 200 mm le2 is 300 mm let us solve this problem the given is a1 is 1000 mm square a2 1500 mm square e1 0.7 e4 5 newton per mm square e2 that is for steel 2 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square alpha is 23 10 power minus 6 per degree celsius for aluminium 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree celsius is for steel alpha is thermal expansion coefficient okay the first step is we have to find out the k matrix so that is from 30 to 60 degree it is increased so the difference in temperature is 30 degree celsius let us calculate the k first k is a1 e1 by l1 1 minus 1 minus 1 substitute the corresponding values and you will get let me keep it as the constant 10 power 5 and we will take inside the 3.5 this is for element 1 and here element 2 a2 e2 by l2 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1500 2 into 10 power 5 divided by 300 1 1 minus 1 1 so 10 into 10 power 5 10 power 5 we are keeping constant and 10 we can take it to inside now this is 1 2 2 3 we have to assemble this as global stiffness matrix 10 power 5 3.5 3.5 0 and -3.5 10 plus 3.5, 13.5, and minus 10. 0 minus 10, 10. 1, 2, 3. Okay. This is already explained. Check for my playlist so that you will get the idea of assembling of stiffness matrix. Now force matrix, force vector. We have a formula of ea alpha delta t minus 1 1 this is the formula for calculating the force vector so f1 f2 0.7 10 power 5 a 1000 alpha 23 10 power minus 6 and delta t 30 degree if we simplify this again 10 power 5 is common minus 0.483 and plus 0.483 1 1 2 similarly for element 2 f2 and f3 the values are substituted here then per 5 minus 1.08 plus 1.08 2 3 right so assembling the force and stiffness matrix uh, force matrix here 10 power 5 we will take it as a common 1 1 2 3 minus 0.483 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 power 5 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 power 5 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 power 5 11 1 2 3
and for 1 2 we have 0.483 and minus 1.08 right here 1.08 by simplifying this we will get a force matrix of these values this is force matrix without any additional nodal force now we have to add the nodal force right there is a force at node number 2 or point load that is acting at node number 2 that also we have to add it here f1 f2 f3 equal to minus 0.483 minus 0.597 plus 4 1.08 this 4 into 10 power 5 has been taken from 400 kilo newton it can be written as 4 into 10 power 5 right again reduce this value we will get minus 0.483 3.483 1.08 this is the actual force matrix now displacement u u1 u2 u3 we know that u1 and u3 is fixed so u1 0 u2 and u3 is equal to 0 substitute all these equations in your fe equation so this is your stiffness matrix and 0 u2 u3 displacement And 10 power 5 into 0.5483, 3.4, 1.08. So since u1 0, u3 0, first row, first column, and third row, third column is neglected. The remaining thing is 10 power 5, 13.5 u2 is equal to 3.403. So u2 equal to sorry here I forgot to mention 10 power 5 okay so u2 equal to 0.2521 millimeter this is the display displacement at node 2 now we have to find out the thermal stresses the formula for thermal stress sigma equal to e du by dx minus e alpha into delta t. we will solve and extract the results of stresses also in ansys after this theory so sigma 1 equal to 0.710 power 5 u2 is 0.2521 minus 0 divided by length of the element minus 0.710 power 5 12 into 10 power minus 6 into 30 if you simplify this we are getting the value of 39.94 Sorry, here twenty-three newton per mm square. That is ten z. Similarly, for element two, same formula. Only thing is the displacement value will be changed here. Minus two forty newton per mm square. That is in compressive. Ten z and compressive. let us go with reaction forces we know the formula r equal to kg u minus f we know the stiffness matrix and u matrix and force vector we can now simplify all these the reaction forces we will get 10 power 5 minus 0.399 30 minus 3.601 newton after every problem solved we have to write down the results after writing these results we will see the procedure of how we can solve this in ansys so result of k and f 
have been written and displacement at the node 10 node 2.2521 mm and node 30 similarly for stresses 39.94 megapascal tensile minus 240 megapascal in compression and the reaction forces r1 minus 0.3913105 newton r2 is zero logically it should be zero r3 is equal to minus 3.61 10 power 5 newton now we will solve the same problem in ANSYS ok let us open the ok after that we will compare that ok first we will solve with ANSYS Open the ANSYS. Let it open. The first thing is I am going to add a link element. And okay, link 180. So no need of changing any options here. Add the area, okay. The first element area is 1000. Apply. And the second real constant is 1500. That is the area of cross section of bar 2, right. Okay. Material property. Let us choose aluminium. Zero 0.7 e power 5 newton per mm square and 0.33 and density 7850 e power minus 12 and thermal expansion coefficient 12 into sorry, 23 into 10 power minus 6 okay and the same metal property have been copied here and we can modify this so the density is 2750 sorry here it is steel 7850 and 2e power 5 0.3 and thermal expansion 12 into e power minus 6 so let me change the metal property 1 density here it is aluminium 2750 e power minus 12 modeling create noded value in active system 00, 0 the first node and 200 is element number 1 line and 500 is element number 2 line so directly we are so before creating the elements we need to choose the material number 1 and the area number 1 and through node 1 to 2 is first element and changing material number 2 and area number 2 through node 2 to 3 now it is created now let us go with uh, displacement constraints on node both end are all degrees of freedom arrested in middle we will be having a force of 4 into e power 5 newton and let us apply with uh, not initial condition no need of initial conditions okay no need here let us go directly with uh, uniform temperature okay so let me look it for uniform temperature settings uniform temperature that is uh, temperature rises 30 degree celsius uniform temperature 30 degree directly we can enter here 30 and okay and no need of anything so directly we can solve this okay let us solve this solution is done and let us plot the degrees of freedom solution see 0 0.252074 is 
displacement at node 2 exactly we are getting the same result let us add the stresses define table add ls1 is for stress line element sorry line element result ls1 see 39.9 is maximum tensile and minus 240 is maximum compressive that is in element 2 blue color red color can you able to see okay let me change change the background color okay so now we will do the result comparison in the in a table directly we can draw a table right okay let me draw it in the fa method that is in theory fa theory and it in ansys the results is displacement first quantity is displacement u2 0.2521 mm is in fa 0.2 207 mm in ansys stress in element 1 in fea we got it 39.94 megapascal in ansys in theory uh, sigma 2 minus 240 39.9259 in ansys and minus 240.049 m megapascal in ansys right thanks for watching if you like it please Share to your friends and please subscribe.